Well, here's a kind of amazing fact that should be on the front page of every paper. A secret Department of Defense program paid for researchers to run psychological evaluations on people who said they'd encountered UFOs. Apparently, warehouses were rented. It sounds kooky, but this is actually being reported by the New York Times where metal from downed UFOs could be stored. What? When did that happen and why did nobody tell us? We'll tell you what we know after the break. Well, a lot of people believe that there might be life on other planets. Apparently, a lot of people who do work in the U.S. government, which secretly over the years, we now learned, has spent millions on a program that investigated UFO reports. So what did they find, and does that program still exist? We asked Fox News headlines Brett Larson. To explore that question for us, he joins us tonight with the outcome. Hey, Brett. Hey, Tucker. Yes, we have fearlessly reported on previous reports of UFO sightings, or what the military sometimes calls unexplained aerial phenomena. Uh, detailed by Navy pilots and other members of the military. Now, it's a situation that the Pentagon piqued the world's interest in when they released some declassified documents that made it clear the government is keeping an eye on the skies and potential UFOs a bit closer than anyone would have expected. Now, that release included the now infamous video from 2017 of what is clearly some kind of flying object that honestly does not match any of the physics I remember learning about or any aircraft design any of us have ever seen outside of science fiction. But the story actually got a little more interesting. It turns out former U.S. Senator Harry Reid of Nevada put together a multi-million dollar investigation into the Pentagon's UFO files, and it included a real-life Fox Mulder tasked with catalog cataloging not just those documents related to UFO reports, but also to collect actual debris. In fact, a company was hired to modify buildings in Las Vegas to store metal alloys and other materials that were reportedly from sites where these unexplained events happened. Now, people who have had encounters have been tested for any physical changes. Military personnel were interviewed about what they saw. Now, we know what some of them saw from the 2017 video captured over the Pacific when multiple military officers confirmed this mysterious sighting, including pilots and radar technicians. Now, the program to catalog then reveal to the public what was found has been canceled. Tracking UFOs by the military isn't stopping. In fact, they're going to keep it for a simple reason. The military needs to know who is doing this and what their intent is. Now, unfortunately, this means we may not get to see those detailed reports, those mind-blowing videos, or as one of the pilots said of something seen out his window, truly radical technology. All the data they collect they simply end up in a chart that shows an uptick in sightings in their locations as we all collectively wait for those documents to be declassified. I, I want to know where it's coming from, and I want a tour of this warehouse to see these metal alloys. This is kind of amazing. Well, since they, they say they have multiple sightings per month. Per, yeah, this can, isn't like month. a once a year, or oh, maybe yeah, it's no, a, you it's, can't excuse it as a falling star. This is happening a lot. No, it's not a drunk guy in a field in New Hampshire. No, no, no. <laughs> no these are very well-trained pilots and military personnel. Yeah, guys who, with nuclear payloads who are kind yeah, of sober. You know, yeah. you know you're, you're hoping they know what they're looking at, and you would, you, I want to know what they're seeing. I do, too. Brett Larson, thank you very much for that. Thanks, Tucker. Well, here's a kind of amazing fact that should be on the front page of every paper. A secret Department of Defense program paid for researchers to run psychological evaluations on people who said they'd encountered UFOs. Apparently, warehouses were rented. It sounds kooky, but this is actually being reported by the New York Times, where metal from downed UFOs could be stored. What? When did that happen, and why did nobody tell us?